What do you think is going to happen Sunday? I don't want to give away too many of the secrets. We have eight and a half hours to you know fill what? for crying out loud. What do you, you know, think is going to happen Sunday? The last here? thing that we do is what? before On eight and a half hours, the last thing we do is pick picks. the game. Yeah, Pick the game. You know how I have cards for every one of our chats? I do know that. I have not circled one of those teams yet. I can't decide. I can't decide would who's going to win this game. Would you normally have something circled on your card by now? Yeah, oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah I am. And, and even though you would circle the Patriots most of the time because they're so good, yeah. all of the five Super Bowls that they've won, Rich, your guy from Michigan has had a fourth quarter winning game-winning drive to win all five. They're that close. And so... Whew. And and if and if anybody can beat the Patriots as good as the Patriots are, this Eagle defense is going to give them some fits. So that's what's giving you pause. Yeah, or, and I just don't or, know how or, many fits they're going to give them. But they're going to make it a rough day for Tom. They're going to pressure the heck out of them. And they don't have to scheme their way. That's the thing that we keep talking about yeah, all week. The, is the that thing about they can they've got so many good defensive linemen that they and they like to just rush four most of the time. Yes, and they keep them fresh. And they're going to hit. They have hit quarterbacks more than any team in the league by far. And so the last time the Brady lost was when he got hit 20 times by Denver last year in the AFC game. So it's going to be, can Tom Brady make enough plays under pressure all day long? Steve Mariucci here on the Rich Eisen Show. What is Doug Peterson and Frank Reich doing with Mick Foles over the final 48 hours. And, what John, a, and John DiFilippo, the quarterback yes, the coach, quarterback's he's done coach. such a good job with Carson Wentz. Is he going and, uh, somewhere? Has he ever gigged He interviewed somewhere? several times. Okay. But I don't know, unless uh, unless Indy and Detroit, Detroit end up takes changing him. gears or okay. something, but he's so going to be a coach. So what are those guys all doing? What is, what is I guess, the, ha- the, the Foles handlers, what do you think they're going to do in the final 48 <sighs> hours with him, Steve? Well, the Hayes... I don't, I don't like saying the haze in the barn, but as far as the game plan, it's pretty much set and practiced already. Yes. And they have tweaked <clears throat> their offense so, as such that the Nick Foles is it's, it's keeping it pretty simple. Yep. A lot of one back set and shotgun, a lot of RPOs, which is kind of a, you watch, it's going to start a little new trend. You know, it's monkey see, monkey do in this league, you know? Yep. There's to be more RPOs where you read and run and pass and then throw those little high percentage slants, a lot of those. But um, and they're going to they're going to add with personnel groups and formations to make it a little bit complicated. So the Patriots haven't practiced against it. Right. Take shots on occasion, which they didn't do at first with Nick Foles. They were very careful with him last game. They got some big plays to win that thing, which they needed. And they're going to need that again. So it's like, all right, Nick, we're gonna we're gonna we're gonna call the game for you that you can execute. You know, don't take any chances that you don't need to. Check it down when you have to. If we have to punt, that's fine. Mm-hmm. Um, just just he's they're not gonna ask him to carry this team on his shoulders completely. Although the quarterback nowadays has got to make all the plays, you know that, boy. So when are you gonna circle that thing? And uh, uh, the five <laughs> minutes before you make the pick? Yeah. I'm when listen. I see you, on, um, when I see you on Sunday, I and I look at your stack I'll of cards, an uncircled card, because I listen to all the discussion and analysts, no, and I go, don't. Oh, "That's a good point." No, that's you... a good point. I'm leaning this way. Well, maybe I'm leaning that way now. <laughs> right. <laughs> it's that close in my mind. The Rich Eisen Show, weekdays at noon Eastern on Audience.